Good day everyone. This is engineer Algen Michael G. Sabak and I welcome you to our discussion about earth science. Sit back and relax as you listen to this presentation video. Get ready to be amazed and learn about our own planet Earth. Our agenda today is to answer the question, what is earth science? What does the subject talks about? What are things that we should know and learn about it? From the question itself, we might notice that it tackles mainly about our Earth. But, does it really talk about it? How do we know that we are dealing things that is in the field of Earth science? Earth science, in simple definition, is the study of the Earth and its neighbors in space. It includes all the fields of natural science related to the planet Earth and deals with the physical and chemical constitution of the Earth and its atmosphere and oceans and its interactions in space. It also involves how the natural world interacts with its surroundings. It is an exciting science with many interesting and practical applications. Like for example some Earth scientists use their knowledge of the Earth to locate and develop energy and mineral resources. Others study the impact of human activity on Earth's environment, and design methods to protect the planet. Some use their knowledge about Earth processes such as volcanoes, earthquakes, and hurricanes to plan communities that will not expose people to these dangerous events. Many different sciences are used to learn about the Earth, however, there are only four basic areas of Earth science. These are geology, meteorology, oceanography, and astronomy. Astronomy tackles about on how the Earth relates in space and time. Meteorology talks about how atmospheric conditions relate to weather and climate. Oceanography shows us how marine ecosystems interact in the oceans and geology addresses how Earth's landforms and rock change over time. These four sciences collectively seeks to understand Earth and its neighbors in space. Understanding Earth science is challenging because our planet is a dynamic body with many interacting parts and a complex history. Throughout its long existence, Earth has been changing and in fact it is changing as you are listening to this presentation and will continue to do so in the future. Furthermore studying the realms of Earth science requires an understanding and application of knowledge and principles from your previous science subjects, physics, chemistry, and biology. To sum it all up, these are the sciences that seek to expand our knowledge of the natural world and our place in it. A brief explanation of these sciences will be provided on the next slides. Now, when you hear the word geology, what comes into your mind? You might think about rocks, right? Geology is one science that deals with these terms. From rocks, minerals and to land structures that you may have known. Mount Everest and some volcanoes that you are familiar of, you might want to think about the land itself. And if you have watched Dr. Stone, you will surely know what the definition of the term geology. Now let's visualize it on the next slide so that you will see the wonders of geology. All of the images you see are all about geology. The land that you walk into if you go on a trip, the majestic volcano eruptions that you see on often in the news, and the rocks that you used to play with your friends. You also might be interested with fossils in some documentary movies, and with the legends and stories that interprets mountains and the shining and shimmering minerals and gemstone that you can see from the jewelries of your parents. These are the things that you should know about geology. Now, how do we define the term geology? What is it all about? Geology, in its broadest sense, is the study of the Earth. It includes of the materials that make up Earth, the processes that form and change these materials, and the history of the planet and its life forms. It also talks about the Earth's interior and its exterior surface, the rocks and other materials that are around us, the processes that have resulted in the formation of those materials, the changes that have taken place over the vastness of geological time, and the changes that we can anticipate will take place in the near future. Earth is a dynamic, ever-changing planet. Internal forces create earthquakes, build mountains, and produce volcanic structures. At the surface, external processes break rock apart and sculpt a broad array of landforms. If you think of geology, it is somewhat a kind of adventure that you want to experience. Next, when you hear the word meteorology, what comes into your mind? You might think about meteors, right? But you are mistaken, it does not talk about meteors. Let's together solve this mystery. What is really meteorology? Meteorology is one science that deals with these terms. From weather to climate, to the things that you've heard on the radio and television like when a typhoon is coming. You might think also of climate change and you might to look also in the sky. And if you have watched weathering with you, you will surely know what the definition of the term meteorology is. 
Now let's visualize it on the next slide so that you will see the wonders of meteorology. All of the images you see are all about meteorology. It talks about our atmosphere. From the awesome streaks of lightning to the fluffy clouds in the sky. You also might want to go on a vacation on where there is a cool climate like in Baguio or the one that you've dreamed of going, in the cold winters and playing in the snow in Canada. These are the things that you should know about meteorology. Now, how do we define the term meteorology? What is it all about? Meteorology, in its broadest sense, is the study of the Earth's atmosphere. It includes the processes that cause the atmosphere to change and produce weather and climate. The study of meteorology is of critical importance in protecting Earth's environment. Meteorological phenomena are observable weather events which illuminate and are explained by the science of meteorology. These events are bound by the variables that exist in Earth's atmosphere. It also examines the mixture of gases that is held to the planet by gravity and thins rapidly with altitude. Acted on by the combined effects of Earth's motions and energy from the Sun, and influenced by Earth's land and sea surface, the formless and invisible atmosphere reacts by producing an infinite variety of weather, which in turn creates the basic pattern of global climates. If you think of meteorology, it is somewhat a kind of dream that you want to experience. Next, when you hear the word oceanography, what comes into your mind? You might think about the oceans of our planet, right? And you are not mistaken. It talks about our oceans primarily. Now let's go deeper into the Pacific. Oceanography is one science that deals with these terms. From the marine life that is found on our seas and oceans, to the currents of the coastline that we often surf. At the beach that we splash upon and to the mysteries deep below. And if you have watched Finding Nemo, you will surely know what the definition of the term oceanography is. Now let's visualize it on the next slide so that you will see the mysteries of oceanography. All of the images you see are all about oceanography. It talks about mainly our waters in our ocean. From the surface and to the deepest parts of it. Our oceans are so vast that we only researched a bit of it that's why it remains a mystery to us humans. But soon with technology advancements, we will know the mysteries that are still hiding below it. Oceanography, in its broadest sense, is the study of the Earth's oceans. It includes the creatures that inhabit salt water, measure different physical and chemical properties of the oceans, and observe various processes in these bodies of water. Moreover, it tackles the physical, chemical, and biological features of the ocean, including the ocean's ancient history, its current condition, and its future. Oceanography is actually not a separate and distinct science. Rather, it involves the application of all sciences in a comprehensive and interrelated study of the oceans in all their aspects and relationships. Oceanography integrates chemistry, physics, geology, and biology. It includes the study of the composition and movements of seawater, as well as coastal processes, seafloor topography, and marine life. If you think of oceanography, Moana might want to sail the seas with you or Poseidon will adopt you as his child. Lastly, when you hear the word astronomy, what comes into your mind? You might think about the sun and our planets, right? Yes it talks about the things beyond us. Now let's go further outside Earth. Astronomy is one science that deals with these terms. From the planets that we have memorized in our elementary grades to the vast galaxies that were mentioned in our books. You might know about the explorations of NASA and the satellites and rockets that were sent outside because of our curiosity. Sometimes, we also wonder if there are aliens outside too. And if you have watched Guardians of the Galaxy, you will surely know what the definition of the term astronomy is. Now let's visualize it on the next slide so that you will see the bizarre things of astronomy. All of the images you see are all about astronomy. It talks about the things that we look up in the sky at night. The lovely moon that shines its light for us and to the twinkling stars that made us dream at night. The planets that revolves around our sun and the comets and shooting stars that fascinates us. All of these things that we watched in the night sky are all about astronomy. Astronomy, in its broadest sense, is the study of the Earth's beyond. It includes the sun, moon, stars, planets, comets, galaxies, gas, dust and other non-earthly bodies and phenomena. It uses mathematics, physics, and chemistry in order to explain their origin and evolution. It demonstrates that an understanding of Earth requires that we relate our planet to the larger universe. 
Because Earth is related to all the other objects in space, the science of astronomy, the study of the universe, is very useful in probing the origins of our own environment. If you think of astronomy, our resident aliens would want to take you for a trip in their own galaxy. Earth science is also an environmental science that explores many important relationships between people and the natural environment. Many of the problems and issues addressed by Earth science are of practical value to people. The Earth sciences, studying the impact that humans have on the Earth and how natural processes affect us, provide vital information for our future as a species. Our future depends on understanding how the Earth can provide food, water and energy for our growing population. Perhaps one day we will be able to apply these lessons to inhabit another planet as well. To sum it all up, geology is the primary Earth science. The word means, study of the Earth. Geology deals with the composition of Earth materials, Earth structures, and Earth processes. It is also concerned with the organisms of the planet and how the planet has changed over time. Astronomy is the study of the universe. Meteorology is the study of the atmosphere and how processes in the atmosphere determine Earth's weather and climate. Oceanography is the study of Earth's oceans, their composition, movement, organisms and processes. That's all for this session, see you on our next discussion.